Okay, so we're just going to be going over the power rule and working with negative exponents. So what is the power rule? Well, if you have a number raised to a certain power, a, and that's raised to another power, b, well, you can get rid of the parentheses and simplify this so that x to the a times b or x to the AB is your simplified answer, and that's the power rule. Also, when you have negative exponents, say we have x to the minus 3, that just means that to get rid of that negative exponent, you would place it under 1. So here, in this case, it would be 1 over x to the third. So this is how you can simplify um, numbers raised to multiple powers and also negative exponents. So let's look at this and get some practice with some of these problems. So here in number one, um, we have x to the minus fifth to the fourth. Let's use the power rule to get rid of those parentheses. So we have x to the minus five times four. This will give us x to the minus twenty. But here, we needed to simplify with no parentheses and no negative exponents. So we need to get rid of that negative exponent. Well, you just stick it under 1. 1 over x to the 20th. And that's the answer. What about number 2? It's the same sort of thing. Let's use the power rule to get rid of those parentheses. So we would have f to the minus 2 times 7. This should give us f to the minus 14, which to get rid of that negative exponent, we just place it under 1 so that we have 1 over f to the 14th as the answer. What about number 3? This is a little bit more complicated, but you do it the same way. So we would have minus 3 to the 3rd times z squared to the third times x to the fourth to the third. So when you simplify this out, you should have minus 27 z to the 2 times 3 times x to the 4 times 3. And this should give us finally minus 27 z to the sixth x to the twelfth as our answer. Number four, here we have b squared over 2a cubed, all of this raised to the fourth. Well, just split up what's on top and bottom, so that would be b to the 2 times 4 over 2 to the fourth times a to the 3 to the 4th, well, a to the 3 times 4, and so when you simplify that further, you should have b to the 8th over 16a to the 12th as your final answer. How about this last one? z to the minus 3 times minus 2 is just going to be z to the 6th. And then in this last one, v to the minus 6 to the 8th would be v to the minus 6 times 8. And that is v to the minus 48, which is 1 over v to the 48 as the answer. So the power rule, you're simplifying numbers raised to a power raised to another power by multiplying those powers out. And in the case that you do have a negative exponent, you can get rid of that negative exponent by simply placing it in the denominator under 1. And that's using the power rule and also negative exponents.